Hi and welcome to Take Time to Create. This is where we take time out of our everyday lives to create new and wonderful things. My name is Linda and today we are going to work on an art journal page for the Sisterhood of the Traveling Art Journal. I will link up in the iCard up above um, the, the first of the series for this Sisterhood of the Traveling Art Journal. This theme is a really cool theme and I'm pretty excited for it. It's new beginnings. So let me show you what I did. So here's my blank page that we're going to work on and the theme is new beginnings and I cut out and I'm going to use this one. Um, I'm going to use her. I cut her out of a pattern and since new beginnings, I feel like, you know, butterflies are new beginnings, you know, becoming a butterfly from a caterpillar. I have these wings. So this is my focal point. This is what I'm going to work with. And I found the wings from this coloring book and it's called Color Me Inspired and she has these beautiful images in here and I love them. So I am using this um, Christina Webb and so this is a beautiful book and I'm going to use her, I guess, um, wings. <laughs> so I cut out one of the butterflies. So to start this page, we're going to put some dictionary pages on the background. So I'm going to use gloss gel and um, and just a paintbrush and I'm just going to put this on here. Now this design using the cutouts from patterns um, using the girls, I have done something similar to this before. Um, I've made collages with them and I do love the images that are on uh, the patterns. They just look so great. Uh, I will link my blog post down below where I have shown how I've used them before. So this will be similar to what I've done before, but not identical. Does that make sense? So, uh, like I said, it'll be similar. And for those of you who um, have been following me on my blog before my YouTube channel, you will recognize them. But I feel like it's going to have a little bit of an update to it. All right, and I am just keeping everything so it is um, up and down so you can read everything if you chose to. I'm not going mishmash and crazy. All right, so once you have it all um, adhered down, so now I am just going to take some scissors and trim it. All right, so now we have uh, dictionary pages and they're all adhered down. So what I'm going to do now is stencil in some flowers. All right, so I'm going to use this stencil here and it's Flower Bed by Donna Downey and it's beautiful and I love it. So that's the flowers I'm going to use. So before I actually start stenciling this, I wanna show you that I'm also going to cut out some flowers. I'm going to just fussy cut these out. Uh, I picked a few random. So I want to make sure that these flowers I paint will match what's going on here. I think I'm going to do them a lighter pink um, and then some green because we've got some pink in here that we'll use. So everything that matches and I got the flowers from this hot buy from Michael's Harvest Boutique. Um, beautiful pages in here. So that's what I'm going to be using. For paint I'm going to use Folk Art Rose Shimmer and Deco Art Festive Green. I think those are two very nice colors. I'm gonna pour a little bit onto my palette here. And by palette, I mean old paper plate that gets filled up with paint until it can't hold any more, then I replace it. I like to reuse things over and over again. By the time it's all said and done, I am not sure how much you're going to be able to see of my stencils, but I still wanna put that detail on there. I'm just using a makeup sponge and I got a whole pack of them from the Dollar Tree and I like to use them. Sometimes I'll cut them in half and then I will use both sides but and just kind of pounce along. And that's what we're gonna do for the next few minutes. Alright, I'm loving this. Look at that. Let me hold it up so you can see it. Beautiful. Alright, now this has to dry before we add the other things on. So, while this is drying, I am going to fussy cut out my flowers and start getting the composition. I'm also going to add around the edges too. I'm going to frame it all. So, let me cut that stuff out. There's no need for you to watch the whole thing. <laughs> because, yikes on that. Anyway. 
and yeah let's get some flowers all right so now it's pretty dry and then what I'm going to do is take a gelato and this is the color iced coffee and I'm just going around the edge and I'm giving myself a nice border then I am just taking a makeup sponge and I'm kind of blending it out I'm just smoothing out all the rough edges with it just to kind of blend it a little bit then I'm going to uh, get a wet pa paint brush and um, bring some of that color to the inside. So I just have a wet paint brush and I'm just kind of fading it on in as we go. All right, some of the spots are a little too dark, so I'm just going to take a paper towel and just kind of rub it around just to blend that harsh edge so it's not so harsh there we go all right there we go i'm loving that okay so i can take out this so we can see it a little easier okay so we have our girl here and let's put her wings on she's knotted here down but i want to see where we can put um uh the other cut out flowers. Okay, let me cut off this little body part. Sorry, butterfly, cutting off some of your body. But I don't want it sticking out. Um, it always makes it easier if you cut the butterfly in half, then you can position your uh, wings however you want them. All right, kind of like them black and white. I might leave them, but I'm not 100% sure. All right, I'm gonna scoot her down in the flowers just a little bit more. Okay. And I have some flowers, they're all fussy cut. And I'm gonna kind of stick them around. And this is such a big page, I might need to cut some more. All right, I kind of like that. Okay, so I don't think I need any more flowers. Um, yeah, no, that's really good. That's looking pretty good. Okay, so we've got a girl, we've got flowers. Okay, so let's adhere her down and I'm going to use gel medium to adhere her down and the butterfly wings all at the same time so I have a map here um, yes Mod Podge would work um, I just like gel medium a little better you know soft gloss gel would work you could even do um, double sticky tape lots of different ways to adhere your um, collage pieces down do whatever works for you and since this is all paper it's not you know heavy fabric or buttons or something like that um, this gel medium works just fine all right so move this and I do have a little bit of working time I'm gonna put her about right here and I'm gonna take my wings and there we go there we go and then I'm just going to take a little layer and put it over the top of her to really seal it in. And, and I'm pressing down on my brush to um, ooze out the extra gel medium so that it all works well. Oops. Careful you don't bend their legs. <laughs> all right. Okay. Now I'm going to adhere the flowers down just like that. And I am starting with the bigger flowers and I'll move to the smaller flowers. And I don't exactly remember how I put them down before, so that's okay. Um, there is working time with these, so I can peel up and move things as I need to before it all really adheres down. But yep, yeah, all right, let me, let me get all the flowers put down. So I have a quote that I just printed up and I typed it up on my computer and said, just when the caterpillar thought her life was over, she began to fly. I thought this was perfect for the new beginnings. I thought it would work really well for this art journal page. So um, actually this is what I based my whole thing on was this quote, not just uh, the girl. Once, once I found the quote, I found the girl and then I decided this was perfect. 
I'm just using double sticky tape to adhere it down uh, because it's just lightweight copy paper. Um, you could use gel medium, Mod Podge would work as well. All right, so I'm going to use the Faber-Castell Pit Artist White Pin and I am just um, kind of going around and smearing it, but I wanted to add white around the flowers, kind of in with the flowers, kind of, um, I'm showing off the flowers, emphasizing them a little bit, um, distinguishing them from each other just a little bit. So I'm going to take some um, the, these oil pastels from Prima Marketing and I'm going to take the black one and just lightly outline her and the butterfly wings. I'm taking a little thin brush, wetting it down, and I'm just going to kind of outline around, drag out that oil pastel just to really emphasize and give it a little dimension. There we go. If it gets too heavy, I've got a few spots that have too much, just blot it. And there you go. So let me let me do this little part. All right, so I went over uh, the flowers with some of that, the oil pastels, and I'm loving her wings. She's standing out from the page. All right, let's add a few more details. I have these butterfly stickers that I got from the Dollar Tree, and what I like is that the flowers are pink, the butterflies are going to be pink, and she's more on the neutral side, and her wings are more on the neutral side. I just think it makes her stand out a little more. And the last thing I want to add, maybe the last thing, who knows, I might add more, but I have some stickles in cotton candy, magenta, and goldenrod. And I'm just going to add some dots here and there on some of the flowers. Um, I am going to add some on her wings. I know I like it black and white, but I want to add a little bit of color just in the stickle form. All right, I put some stickles on it and I think this is perfect. I think the page is done. There we go. My page that reflects new beginnings. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this art journal page and my take on new beginnings. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and on my blog. I have two Instagrams. I have Linda's Journey 78, which is just all my personal stuff. And I have Take Time to Create, which is all my crafty goodies. I have um, Facebook and my blog, and those links are down below. Please like this video, subscribe to this channel, and hit that notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Thanks again, and I will see you guys next time.